Greetings and welcome. So today I am back in Linux Mint. But this is a new release. It's actually a beta release. If we go to DistroWatch, you can see the news about it. They just released a beta version of Linux Mint Debian Edition. So if I go to their blog here, I'll put a link into the description. There's a little blurb about it, but if you scroll down, there's links here and uh, you can start downloading the beta ISO. Now, even though this is beta, I have been trying out for a while and it's pretty stable. And that's not surprising since it's based on Debian 12, which is a very stable base. So let's get out of that. I have a screenshot of HTOP. This is what it was running after boot up without anything else running in, a, in the background. So that's one gig of RAM, which is not bad. And as you can see here, I'm using simple screen recorder. We'll close that. And if I go to my bash RC file, or not bash RC, bash history, I should say. Um, I didn't install Genie this time. I just kept it as the default text editor. And so you see I only installed to, uh, HTOP, the NVIDIA driver, and simple screen recorder. Now, if we go to their welcome screen, this is what you're met with when you start. And from here, it looks pretty much the same as the regular uh, menu you get from the original Ubuntu-based edition, except here it's missing one thing, and that's the NVIDIA driver installer. Not a big deal for me. All you need to do to install the NVIDIA driver from any Debian 12 based distro these days is sudo apt install NVIDIA dash driver. Now if they add a link to their menu to that, that's great, but it's not that hard to be honest. So I'll show you here. And from here, you can see that I already installed it and it's at version 525.125.06. And also, if I search for NVIDIA, you can see here that their NVIDIA settings tool confirms the version here also. Being based on Debian, it, um, it should be noted that Everything will be a little older as far as packages go, but you do have the option to install flat packs. As for Firefox, I thought they were using the ESR version, but to my surprise, they're using the latest version 117. So that's nice. As for the applications, you got all your standard applications that come with uh, regular Linux Mint. For Office, you got LibreOffice, the whole suite, as far as I can tell. For email, you got Thunderbird. For torrents, you got Transmission. You got HexChat. You got Celluloid, which is a front end for MPV. Rhythmbox Music Player. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe another media player. Let's go take a look, actually. Hypnotix, interesting. Okay. Wow, interesting. Okay, online, it looks like it's an online TV application. Never heard of that before, interesting. Okay, so you just got your usual stuff here. Um, you also got recent files and places here. So it's a little different than what I'm used to. I'm used to the XFCE menu, but um, Pretty easy to use. I still prefer XFCE, but Cinnamon is nice. I do like this calendar here. It's more robust than the XFCE. Final thoughts. This is just a quick review, but looks basically just like a Linux Mint Ubuntu version. I can't really tell the difference from first glance. But um, yes, under the hood, it is based on Debian rather than Ubuntu. So um, it looks pretty stable to me. One little um, I wouldn't call it a glitch, but is 
if I click on one of my drives, I have to enter my password to access them. Now I only have to enter it one time, then I can access all my other drives. And it's interesting that they, when it's mounted that they have the icon here, but yeah, so that's an uh, overview of Linux Mint Debian Edition. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, pretty solid distro, even though it's beta. So I think I'm going to conclude the video for today, guys. My wife is yelling at me, telling me to stop. So until next time, take care, everybody.